celebrating our 100th episode of Crime Solvers on PAC-14. We invited PAC-14 Steve Kyers and ride along with Deputy Burley Williams of the Wicom County Sheriff's Office. As you can see, it didn't take them long to get involved in something. Yeah, Delmar Police Department is having a, had a vehicle fail stop, ended up in a car chase with them, and the vehicles crashed into a house. We're okay. We got one. There's one more with him. Where's your buddy Where's at? Buddy at? Where's your buddy at? Where's your buddy at? Where's your buddy at? Where's your buddy? They both way this way, the woods are coming over there. This is the first one to come out. I heard someone running back that way. Come on, man, there you go. Good job. So I got you to walk. Huh? That's how you thought? You had the right to remain silent. I suggest you um, use it. That's how you thought? You had the right to remain silent. Use it. Deputy Williams with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. What just occurred was the Delmar Police Department had a car chase with a border registered vehicle. Uh, during the car chase, two suspects fled from the vehicle and fled into the woods just north of the Tourist Information Center. Myself and Trooper Perot from the Maryland State Police were able to cut one of the suspects off in the woods after a small foot chase ensued. We were able to apprehend that subject. Deputy Matt Stein and his canine Bono, along with two Delmar police officers and a sergeant from the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, conducted a track for the second suspect and located him and took him into custody. Folks, thanks again for joining us on this episode of Crime Solvers on PAC-14. Without your viewership, this program could not be near as successful as it is. We look forward to another 100 episodes of Crime Solvers on PAC-14.